Hi guys, just filming this out of sequence. I do have a video lined up to look at the lithium cells inside these vapes, um, but I haven't got to it yet. I just happened to pick this one up in the street today and I washed it because one can't be too careful nowadays. And having washed it, the lights come on. So I've obviously got some water in there somehow which makes it think it's running so i'd better take it apart just in case it wants to do anything silly or if nothing else it will run itself right down so this is how to get it apart if you're lucky they just pop off anyway according to big clive but if you're not lucky then you have to grip them like this and work them off and it's coming. Yeah, here we come. There we go. So there's our lipo battery. Five hundred and fifty milliamp hour. Two point oh four two point oh four watt hours. I do have another one that I picked up in the road that somebody had obviously stamped on and this is a little bit crushed. So that'll be interesting. Anyway, I would guess that because I've got probably got water up in here, this has now turned it on because it thinks it's being vaped. So if I disconnect those two, there's my cutters. That will probably turn it off. Nope. I don't think I got water up it. Interesting, and that's the little module that detects when you're sucking. Why don't we just disconnect it and stop messing about? If we chop it up here somewhere, because that's the bit we want, the rest of it's fairly irrelevant. Right, so that's totally out of sequence. I'll probably insert that into the main video at some time in the future. This will go into my metal chest that I keep my batteries in. Oh, what's Grandad doing? Well, just walking along here. I've spotted. One of them. So we can wrap that up in the plastic bag or glove and take it home. There we are. Sanitized or at least ready for sanitization. For those of us who are paranoid about catching things that have been in people's mouths. Driving home here and I'm just showing you on the dash cam here where I can spot quite a few uh, vapes. Obviously people sitting in traffic just chuck them out the window. I'll put arrows pointing at them.
Right, we've got it home. This is the end we need to get off to get the battery out. <laughs> Can't grip it very well with the... Let's give it a little bit of a squeeze around the edges. That's better. Here we go. And there we are. That's what we want. That bit. We're not really, just hold that gently, I'm not crushing it. Not really interested in the rest of it. So I'm just going to cut that off. Put that straight in the bin. The advice is to wear gloves anyway, because if you get that vape stuff on your fingers, they stink forever. So I'll just cut that off save that bit and the rest can go in the bin what you don't want to do is cut straight across and short it out this end cutting it not a problem can we cut that and not drop it in the bin i expect it will drop in oh no we've got that bit so that bit not interested in we just want the battery Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.